Now standing before me is a quiet meadow next to a busy road. And you'd have little to no idea that a great battle for civil rights was once waged here. On April 6, 1964, 26-year-old Colorado native and Cleveland resident, Reverend Bruce Clunder, and some 100 protesters arrived here to protest the planned construction of a segregated school. Protesters and police would clash, and the following day the protesters would return. Stronger and more numerous, Reverend Bruce Clunder and 1,000 fresh demonstrators arrived on April 7, 1964. Already waiting were dozens of Cleveland police. They would make certain that the construction would continue of that segregated school. But during this and during the commotion, Reverend Clunder and others laid themselves down in the mud, using their bodies as a symbolic roadblock to prevent the army of bulldozers set upon them to lay the foundation of the school. Now, one of the drivers, a Mr. John White, stopped his bulldozer as soon as he saw three people laying in front of him. But he didn't see Reverend Clunder. That's because Reverend Clunder had unfortunately already been crushed to death. Mr. White would eventually be cleared of any sort of charges involving Reverend Clunder's death, and he maintained for the rest of his life that he had no way to know that Reverend Clunder was underneath him. The school, Stephen E. Howe Elementary, would eventually be built, living on until it closed in 2005. It was torn down in 2013, and it's quiet now. There's no new bulldozers, no tear gas, just an empty lot and a fading memory of a selfless act of sacrifice. I should also note, what also does remain is three little trees and a plaque. You'll see the name of Reverend Clunder on this plaque, as well as the name of a Chady Anderson, who was a little kindergartner who was killed by a stray bullet in this neighborhood in 1993. With those two tragedies... And before me, an overgrown meadow, may all of their memories be a blessing.